Hi there. In this video, I'm going to be continuing our AI tutorial series. So what we're going to be doing now is adding a ragdoll to our zombie. So when the zombie dies, he falls like a rag. So before we do that, though, I remember in the last video, I was not able to add a sound to our swiping machete. So to do that, um, I'm going to open our script for our player. I already got a, a sound effect, so if you don't have a sound effect, you should go get one. Uh, swiping or slashing sound effect would be ideal. And um, we're going to go to our here where we put this comment audio source of play one shot attack sound. We're just going to remove the comment and the other thing that we want to do is go to our player and if we go to where we put our script player example we should assign our attack sound with the sound which would be the one I'm using is swing to um, but you can use any sound effect so now if we play that sound effect should play now the other thing is to get the ragdoll working would be to select our zombie and go to game object, create a 3D object, and go to ragdoll. Um, so here we're going to have to assign all the joints of our zombie. So we're going to have to open up the skeleton in meta rig. And first we need the pelvis. The pelvis would be the hips. Then the spine. Left hip would be thigh left, left knee would be shin, and foot would be the foot. And then we do the same thing for the right, we assign the thigh to the right hip. The shin would be the knee, the right, and then the foot. Finally, now we have to go up the spine, open up spine, chest, shoulder, upper arm. So left arm would be upper arm left, forearm would be left elbow, then we go and open up the right, so right arm would be upper arm right, and forearm would be the elbow. Finally the middle spine would be this, where it says spine assign the spine and finally the head we open up the neck we have the head here we assign the head um, and yeah basically that's that then we hit this button that says create and the game and the the unity should create the ragdoll automatically as you see we have added many colliders the only thing that is not working for Messi is that he created this huge collider I believe this is for the head so if we select the head we can see that it created this huge collider for the head, which obviously will not work. So we're going to have to scale it down and make it fit. So first off, we're going to reduce the radius to a point zero 0.01 maybe. And then we're going to move it downwards towards the position of the head by getting it there. And make it smaller actually. 0 0.5 and then zero 0.1 maybe. No. Yeah, that's good. It doesn't have to be perfect because since the colliders aren't seen, you only see uh, the zombie just falling down. For the most part, if it fits sort of approximately, it looks pretty good. So don't worry too much about getting it perfect. Um, I'm going to actually put that to zero, not zero, two, maybe zero, three, I think. Yeah, and we're going to make this slightly smaller. Four would be it. There we have it. That should work perfectly. Now if we select the zombie, you can see that all the joints are correct. And now don't worry too much about the fit. This should work by default. I've just adjusted the head because for whatever reason, Unity didn't do it correctly. So now what we want to do is open our zombie script. So what we want to do is disable all the colliders and all the colliders and the 
the joints, the character joints, and the rigid body so that when the zombie is alive, he walks normally. But we enable the colliders and rigid bodies once he dies. So to do that, we're going to open our AI example. First off, we need to get a reference to all our colliders and rigid bodies. So we're going to create a private collider array, which would house all of the joint colliders, which would be ragdoll colliders. And then we make another array of rigid bodies, which is rigid body. Rigid bodies. And then we assign them in the start. We make ragdoll colliders equals get component get components get components in children collider and ragdoll rigid bodies is the same equals get components in children rigid body. The next thing that we need to do is loop through components and loop through both these arrays and disable them on start. So we're going to make a for each, for each, which basically is the same as a for, but for an array. So for each, and we make collider call, we give it a name to our variable in um, ragdoll colliders. So we open up for each. So basically collider cool call would be the current collider we're currently iterating through and this in would be within which array are we iterating currently. So we make call dot enabled equals false. Basically this is just going to loop through the entire array and for each that meaning exactly the name of the loop for each collider within that array we're going to disable it. So we're going to make another for each and make rigid body RB and ragdoll rigid bodies. Um, we're just going to make is kinematic equals true. RB dot is kinematic equals true. So that it doesn't get the affected I think there was another RB dot. Uh, let me check if there was another way to disable. I can't really remember right now. Uh, freeze. Maybe freeze. I don't, I don't know. I think that should work. <laughs> don't quote me on that, though. I think that should work. So now if we play, the game should work normally so let's just test that out right so the zombie is walking he isn't crumbling or anything so that's working now when we die where is our die function oh here we're actually going to make a new void which would be die Public void die. And we're going to replace it with whatever we have here. We just basically disable the animator and make a, the speed equal zero. We're going to do that, but we're going to put in the function. We're just going to replace here with die. We're going to put this within the function. And the other thing that we want to do is to make a for each and enable our collider. So collider call in rigid body. Colliders. Oh, what am I doing? Uh, uh, ragdoll colliders. I mean, well, what is I typing? Anyways, um, so here we're gonna make call dot enable equals true. So we're gonna enable all the colliders that we save there, which would be all the joint colliders. So when the zombie falls, it actually collides with the floor, and we actually need to enable the rigid bodies as well so the zombie actually falls. So rigid body RB in ragdoll rigid bodies. RB 
is kinematic equals false. And I think that should work if we kill the zombie. So let's see if that works. Okay, so one hit, two hits, three hits, four hits. Oh, did I hit him? Okay, so we're having a null reference exception. I think the problem might be that we're disabling our, are we disabling our collider of our zombie? Yeah. The problem is we disabled our collider here. So, yeah, we obviously can't kill him because the collider of the actual zombie parent object is being disabled, so the ray cast doesn't work, so we can't kill him. So we're going to have to fix that quickly. So to fix that, we're going to first off notice this, that our zombie parent object has a tag zombie, but the other uh, joints that have colliders don't have a tag. So we're going to separate that. So if our collider has a tag zombie, don't disable it because it's the parent object. Otherwise, do disable it on start. So we're going to go to our start function in our zombie. And where we disable the collider, we're going to check if it does not equal the tag uh, of our parent ob object. Call the dot tag, I think. Yeah. Dot compare tag. And we put in the name of our tag, which is zombie. And we m negate this by putting the exclamation mark. So if our tag does not equal zombie, then disable the collider. Otherwise, don't do anything. So we're going to maintain and enable. We're going to check that now. This should work now. OK, so if we check our zombie, we can see now that even playing the collider is enabled. So this sh should work now. Sees me. One, two, three. I think that hit him. Yeah, four. And there we go. He fell off. But as you see, the ragdoll works. I'm going to try that once more to see if he doesn't actually fall off the cliff. <laughs> One, two, three, four. There we go. And that's our ragdoll. So basically, that's that. We're going, I'm going to try and go over the zombie attacking the player. I'm going to have to find some animations for that. Um, and obviously, make the player die. And yeah, we're going to see what else, where this tutorial ends up going towards. So anyways, thanks for watching and have a good one.